Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna be messing with the storage server down here which is um, it's an Lenovo X3550 and it has connected to it two um, storage shells each with 24 drives and they are well there are 24 times 2 terabytes and there is another 24 times 600 gigabytes and the 600 gigabytes uh, drives are SAS drives 15,000 RPM so they should be really fast drives but I had some issues with the server last time I was playing with it I want to be running exponality on this server and I have since had, had a memory error on it and also a fan error on the server so um, I want to start trying to get that to work not sure what is going on but but let's go see what the computer says okay so here we are at the IBM integrated management module um, they haven't changed the name to Lenovo yet they really should we have two errors here uh, errors and then we have a warning the errors are the fan and the warning is the memory so it says that the fan 5b tax going low lower critical and um, so it's probably not that dangerous but still redundant redundancy lost for fan zone number two I can't say that uh, and then we have the warning about the memory and here it actually says that it's uh, device number 21 so it's the memory block in slot number 21 that is messing up for us so let's uh, try taking the server out and have a look at this 5b fan uh, it's it's fan number five and as there is two fans in those uh, fan assemblies it might be one of them that is messing up really hope it's not bad because they are quite expensive on the server itself it looks like this we have a red exclamation mark right there it uh, complains about memory and the fan so let's uh, open the server up and see if it it actually tells us where the error is at I'm gonna take this one out before I damage it so right down here on the server we actually have an LED lighting up right here marking that there is an error there and we have an LED here marking that this fan blower has an error too so um, well kind of critical I will um, detach power from the server there so now the lights went out okay to try and fix this I'm gonna use the oldest trick in the book this fan which is failing or has has failed is actually one of the original ones it's not one of the fans that I've put in lately so I'm gonna swap it out I'm gonna trade places with number six this is one two three four five and six so we're gonna put number six over here in this slot over there and I think it's something stupid like me not plugging it in the connector good enough but well we don't know yet this is the one that was teasing us so we're gonna pop that in number six so if it's really broken the error should then go to slot number six we're gonna do the same thing with the memory block over here I'm gonna pop out this one and check if there is something bad in the slot down there okay checking out it's actually better to see this on camera I can't see anything bad there so I'm gonna take the next memory block next to it that would be number 24 and we're gonna put that in slot number 21 instead there And we're gonna take this from 21 and put that in 24 instead so if it's a bad memory block the error should move to 
slot number 24 and if it's a bad well if something else is wrong well it should stay there so trying to find the error here okay I put the server a little bit back together and we're gonna power it on I think I can hit it with a finger actually and it starts off right now it's checking out the memory I think I already have a fan error back down here yeah fan is definitely not happy that is irritating okay that didn't bring us very far uh, even though it now says that it's fan number 6b that is uh, broken so we know that it's the fan blower itself that is faulty that's the first time ever I have one of those amazing um, but it's still device number 21 of the memory that is uh, messing up and we get a um, error code here I googled that and came to this page where it has this memory error and talks about this error and if um, if I have recently updated or something which I have there is a couple of procedures that you can try which we have almost already tried we can check for a new firmware um, I just updated this server it's not long ago so it's brand new firmware almost too brand new then it talks about verifying that there is no foreign material in the in the memory bank slot thing we did that it also wants us to swap around the memory which we already did then it wants us to swap around the CPUs to see if the error disappears that way. Um, we could do that, that's not a big deal. I think we will we'll have a look at that fan and then we will try and swap the CPUs around. When the server has a broken fan or a fan error, it makes a lot of noise. Um, I'm pretty sure you can hear that. It's very noisy right now. We can see that the error is still here at slot number 21 uh, but the fan error has moved here you can't see that but there is a orange LED down there that shows us that it's fan number 6 now that is um, messing up so I'll unplug power power is off so let's Let's check out fan number number six here. That one turns around just fine. Oh! Oh! I see an issue. I see a big issue, but it's fixable. If you look inside the fan, there is something foreign there. It's one of these rubber feet that has broken off and it's missing right there. So, well, this one has gotten tired and has decided to, um, to block one of the fans in here. So we're gonna repair that. Um, I went down to the basement and I found a pair of pliers. Uh, and we're gonna fish that out there my best guess is that the the fan will be okay now probably I hope I hope it's not too broken um, let's uh, let's see if we can fix this one too I have some of this uh, it's a Chinese super glue and it's um, kind of something I don't think we can buy it here in Denmark it's too poison so um, we're gonna we're gonna give it some of that okay I did not trust it enough uh, to glue that rubber together so I've cheated a little bit I put this one through and I glued the 
end on here and I'm guessing that it might as well just dry up while it's running so I'm gonna put the fan in again make sure that it does not glue to the server anywhere um, I don't know what to do over here we could try the CPU thing that's probably our best choice so I will very quickly just swap the CPUs around Okay, now that is done. I did not change the heating compound. There was more than enough on here. So let's, um, I wanna take this out again and see if there is anything that I can see. Yeah, it looks really good down there. We'll try again. Okay. That seems to have worked, at least so far, and it has booted. So let's go see what the computer says. Oh, that's amazing. There is no errors anymore. Both the memory and the fans are okay now. That's so nice. I think I wanna delete the event lock here because all those old errors, they cloud up the picture if you wanna do some error correcting later. Let's clear this, I guess, delete events, that one, yes, delete everything. Now if there is a new error or a new event, it will show up more clearly. Okay, that was really cool. It's absolutely the first time that I've fixed the server with super glue. I promise you that, <laughs> but it, 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 it works. So, um, well, do remember to give this video a thumbs up. Hit the bell thing, it's, um, it's important. I make videos for the hardest audience in the universe. Guards, server admins, guards. So um, if you guards wanna be notified, well hit the bell thing and I will um, entertain you. <laughs> so, but thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.